Friends add color to life. They are like warm breeze and sunlight in the middle of a winter storm. They bring craziness and fun into our world. But what happens when your best friend suddenly becomes the nightmare you need to wake up from? Hard, right? You bet. According to Minimalism Made Simple, when you start to feel frustrated with a friend, the best thing to do is to express how you feel and see over time if anything changes. If they aren't willing to recognize your feelings and make an effort to create a healthier balance, it may be time to let go of that friendship. It's always difficult to let go of your beautiful memories with them, but you have to prioritize your mental health and personal development. Your best friend is meant to be in the circle of your support system, not someone who sabotages your growth process. When this starts to happen, it's time to focus on the bigger picture. Let them go and trust that they'll find their place in life. So how do you identify that it's time to move on? Watch this video to see six signs it is time to let go of your best friend. If you're new here, subscribe to our channel for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. When they belittle your feelings or interest. It may seem unlikely that a good friend or even a best friend would do such a thing. But in reality, they are the only ones who can. People who know you too well typically can hurt you the way someone you are not always with can. A person you just see as a friend, their opinion about you and your work will not likely affect you at all. If the person you place highly continues to do this, it may be time to call it quits. Your friend is someone that is supposed to make you feel like you can do anything at all. He or she is meant to support you and encourage you, not discourage you. Having friends is good, but having good friends is better. According to an American businessman, Thomas J. Watson, don't make friends who are comfortable to be with you. Make friends who will force you to level yourself up. Friends are very important. It is the reason people are advised not to make bad friends at all. People who are friends with achievers and doers are likely also going to be doers and achievers. You will feel like it's normal to have a big dream and go for them with everything you have. 2. They drain your energy. How can you keep a friend who drains your energy away? How can you be friends with such a person? It's a good question, right? Funny enough, people don't always ask themselves these questions. They use emotions and sentiments to look at their friends and as a result, do not take any decisive steps to better their lives. A friend who doesn't better your life in some way is not a friend. They are more or less good acquaintances. Have you ever met someone who became your friend after a few drinks? They call frequently and often talk about their problems. They never have the time of day to listen when you have a challenge though. Talking to them makes you feel mentally exhausted all the time. Does this sound familiar? If you have such a person, can they take a bow out of the friendship? There is really no future. Far too many people have suffered through a meaningless relationship in the name of hoping their friends will change. You only get one life. You really shouldn't spend it sympathizing with someone that is hurting you. You need to be free of all the negative energy. No one says that people don't have problems from time to time, but taking calls from people who only call when they have problems is not healthy. Ask yourself in all honesty, does all conversations with this friend end up in an argument? How much time do you spend talking to them, trying to resolve some challenges they may have? Are you happy? It is not anyone's job to make you happy. It is on you. You should at least be there willing to cut away ties that ensure your unhappiness. Don't you think you owe yourself that much? 3. It's always about them. Does your best friend always think their problems are bigger than yours? Do they try to guilt trip you for not caring enough about their big problem when you had other pressing things to do as well? The good news is that you can still fix this now by walking away. Some friends just take and take and take. If you feel tired, they will still make you feel terrible for not being in a position to give. Imagine explaining to someone you can't borrow them money because you have to pay for your rent. Why do you have to do that? Is telling them you have some other things to take care of not enough? These friends expect to have exclusivity with you and get upset when you don't give them that. They are likely to get annoyed over missing a meeting when they use the time to rush one of their friends to the hospital. 
They can also get offended if you make an announcement in public and did not tell them about it first. Everything is about them. They really don't value your independence as much. Such friends want to run your life and gears and should not be allowed. When someone makes a mistake, they see it as done on purpose, specially designed to target them. Everyone is supposed to know what they expect, what they want, and what makes them happy. If someone fails to deliver, it must have been done on purpose to upset them. This type of mindset is flawed and should not be entertained by anyone. People who think this way clearly have a long way to go. You shouldn't carry their burden on your journey. The more you stay friends with them, the more difficult it will be to let go of them when the time comes. 4. They are never supportive or present when you need them. Have you ever had a friend who was so nice you wished they were your siblings? They genuinely care for you and look out for you even when you least expect it. If you have experienced this, it means you have not had it bad. For some people, the last things their friends do is look out for them. Their friends rather not tell them about opportunities just so that they don't feel left behind when their friend succeeds. Does this sound familiar? If it is, this is actually a clear sign that your friendship with such a person has no future. Sometimes, the reason why your friends act that way is that they are scared. According to Personal Excellence Blog, it is common to face resistance when you pursue big dreams. This is especially if the people around you are fear-based. If your people don't share your ideals, they will not be supportive of your dreams. If you're from a small town aspiring to be president or senate majority leader, making friends with people who aspire to live in the same town all the days of their lives is a disaster. 5. They are mean and no longer look out for your interest. How do you know if your friend have gone mean? Nobody becomes friends with a mean person, right? So, they were likely not mean at all when you first met them. You need to ask yourself certain questions about their behavior even if you can't wrap your head around it, especially if you are very close to them. Here are some questions to help you get thinking. Do they pretend to be sick to get out of spending time with you? Do they tell other people nasty things about you behind your back? Do they tell you when there is an opportunity to participate in something you are very passionate about? Do they yell at you when they are angry about something even if it's not your fault? Does any of this sound familiar? If it does, start getting ready to move on. Anyone who treats you this way is not your friend even if they think they are. Starting over can be hard, but then everyone anywhere can make new friends. Spend some time alone if necessary. Straighten your priorities. Your future depends on it. No one gets very far in the journey of success without good friends beside them. 6. They are not actively pursuing a life purpose or encouraging you to do so either. Are you part of a band of loners who smoke weed all day and play video games? Do you have a goal you want to achieve? What do you want to be known for? If you're not asking yourself these questions now, you will likely wander in circles for a long time. The people you relate with have a powerful influence over your life decisions. You will tend to make decisions based on what they find acceptable. This is going to do you no good. Your youth is a time to pursue your dreams with passion. It is time to make mistakes and learn. You will make little or no progress without goals. Goals help you streamline your actions. If you want to be a professor, you will need good grades. This can help you focus on what you want to achieve. When you don't have any aspirations, you simply wonder. If your friends all have no aspirations, it is time to cut yourself loose. You deserve better friends anyway. Make friends with people who are smart, driven, and hardworking. Their attitudes will rub off on you with time.